So I got a lot of crap in my office. People give me things and I collect things and, and I don't know where to put it. The only horizontal space available is the space in front of books. And so, so I guess in anybody's house they'd be called tchotchkes. But in my office, this cosmic office, they're all cosmically inspired tchotchkes. Someone once gave me, with this ribbon on top, Dole Pineapple Cosmic Fun Shapes. So these are pineapple chunks, each cut out in the shape of a moon, star, planet. And I just thought to myself, yeah, the universe rocks. Because would you put like DNA shapes? You know, is it cosmic biology shapes? Oh, here's a virus shape. <laughs> I mean, the universe lends itself to this kind of thing. Now, I've, I've had this can a little too long, and it's starting to bulge. So I think it's time for me to get rid of this can. I've had it for like years and years and years. No telling what's going on inside of it. This is like, uh, I guess it's Tabasco sauce. But what matters here is like there's a space shuttle on it. All right, and I don't know how hot the Tabasco sauce is, but they've got a space shuttle on it. And if it's any temperature as, that closely relates to the temperature of the exhaust of the space shuttle, then this would vaporize the bottle itself. I've got these Petrushka dolls. I love them. I was in Russia visiting outside of Moscow. You have Star City, where that's like what Houston is to us, the, the, the seat of, of their space program. And these all these dolls stack. And unlike so many other Petrushka dolls that you might find, they have like faces of political leaders and people who sort of come and go in history. And I thought, I gotta get this one because it has Russian space vehicles. So of course the littlest one is Sputnik, October 4th, 1957. And then they get bigger and bigger and bigger and the last one is the International Space Station. This is a paperweight with the logo of NASA on it and no one under 30 even understands why paperweights exist and many of them don't even know what one is. This is cool. On this surface is a blackened circular glass plate with holes etched in it. Those are constellations. Light comes through these holes, gets projected in reverse back out through this lens and goes on the dome of the planetarium. This is one of the lenses of the original star projector of the Hayden Planetarium what this is. Space food sticks. I, I don't know what this is made of. But if I'm on Earth and I have access to Earth food, I'm not eating space food. That's, that's my personal rule. But I love just sitting in my office just reaching back and see what my hand hits. Okay, what do I got here? Okay, here we go. This is one sixth of a circle. And so it's called a sextant. You sight the sun through these filters, you look at its altitude, you look at the time of day, you can triangulate, you get longitude, latitude, this sort of thing, depending on what objects you're looking at. So I have one just as a reminder that we didn't always have GPS to tell us where grandma's house.